welcome to another video. If you have watched my previous video, you do know that I lost some of my files, or not some of my files, all of my files, but uh, today I am simply going to show you my BMW E46 M3 and show you like what I've been doing to it lately uh, because all my videos got deleted so I haven't showed you anything of the things I've been doing lately and uh, yeah so let's just begin I want to tell you all about my E46 so the first thing I've been doing is I've now installed M3 seats so now I got full M3 interior and I cleaned it so it looks mint it looks seriously just great and uh, so that's really nice with the full M3 interior. I also got this like leather, really nice uh, like gear cover uh, for my gear stick. So that also looks just great. Uh, like Alcantara, I don't know. I'll put a link in the description. And I've been also been putting on some new wheels. As you can see, those are 18 inch original M3 wheels, which are nine or 9.5 inch wide in the back. I don't know if they're nine or 9.5, I don't know. Uh, and the front are eight, uh, so I am running 225, 45, 70, 18 inch um, wheels all around. And uh, they look really cool, I think. And it, when you're looking at these wheels, you may also notice that I the car is lower, and that is because it sits on brand new coilovers. It did when I bought it as well, but I have now adjusted the coilovers, so it's a lot lower than it was when I bought it. And now I think it looks just stunning. It's so cool. And another major upgrade which I've been doing to the car is rear taillights. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me and saying that I need to change the taillights and I of course been thinking when you comment that I'm looking at your comments and I'm like yeah it's not that bad but when I got white taillights now instead of the yellow ones or the orange ones it's a lot better I agree it's a lot better it looks much more like an M3 the one thing that is not so good with the taillights is that uh, the first day I had it, seriously, the glue on the like the the, gl the plastic or the glass, I don't know, it just fell off. So it broke a little part right off. So that looks kind of shady and not good at all. But um, I will get that fixed. And uh, by saying that, I do mean I maybe need to buy some new ones. And uh, I like I've been saying, I do want like those LED M3 taillights, but those are pretty expensive. So yeah that will not happen like right away but i do want it very soon so as you can see the car has been doing getting some major upgrades and the car is just looking perfect not perfect in my eyes but it's looking very very good and i'm so excited to be owning like an e46 with an s54 swap and everything underneath an m3 and in my eyes i feel like this is an m3 i get the experience of an m3 and like seriously almost nothing left on this car is from a 318 anymore it's basically the fenders in the back and the fenders in the front and the hood and the rest is seriously just M3, everything is M3. So it's so nice to have like a 343 horsepower car with a manual transmission and a rear wheel drive. Seriously, just look at it. This must be one of the prettiest cars I have ever owned. It's so beautiful. Seriously, I'm just here filming it and I'm forgetting that to like look at it myself I'm just looking at it like it I'm just looking at it through the camera but yeah, it's so nice seriously I like it the car is so cool but uh, yeah one thing I did forget to tell you about, about I have also uh, disconnected the park lights uh, so now I have US lights because when you disconnect that on an E46 automatically your turn signals light up so now I have US lights and uh, like to mention uh, like this video is um, uh, like a, my, my new E46 and it is the same I bought of course but so many changes has been made and uh, like I didn't mention like the mirrors has been changed and like, the complete interior I said that I know but it, like I feel like there's so many things that been changed and the M3 steering wheel I didn't have that when I first uh, got it and uh, yeah there's so many things that been changed now with the car and I really like it but uh, now I'm not gonna bore you with that let's go for a drive Okay, let's go. I think this is actually the first time I'm doing this GoPro POV uh, angle with the M3. 
So I hope you are as excited as I am. Whew. This car handles seriously just like a dream. It's ser it is seriously just the ultimate driving machine, as they say, because I, no, I, I don't have words, I love it. You do also get a sport button in these in the E46 M3 and that is really cool it's down here and that totally changes the how the car not how it handles but how it drives uh, and by that I mean the engine feels a lot more aggressive so that is pretty cool and yes I am using the turn signals even though I'm driving a BMW shocking right now let's get on some nice twisty roads and see what this thing can do. I have also put a GoPro uh, on the back of the cars, on the exhaust, so you guys can hear how the exhaust sounds. This is an original M3 exhaust, so it's not too loud and uh, that's not, I don't, I don't know, it's a... Uh, I don't like it that it's so quiet, but of course this should also, it is meant to be a daily as well, so... In a way I can understand why it's so quiet, because when this car arrived in like 2001 or uh, something, I don't know. Uh, back then, of course, it was important to that the car did not like made too much noise. But now let's test out this sports button uh, and you will immediately feel the changes in the car, how the car feels. If I'm just, now I'm tapping the gas just a little bit, I'm nearly touching it, and I'm pressing sport, and immediately I feel like a little, like a, it's like a little kick, and it starts to pull a lot better. And I really want to try this car on a track uh, this summer, or not one track, but several more tracks. That will be pretty fun to try. so good and it's so grippy as well I'm only running like 225 tires but it's holding up pretty good but if I do want it to slide I assume I can but I don't I can't clutch kick on the road but when I'm trying it on the track I'm really really curious to see if this car can actually do like hold a drift in third gear and uh, I have don't have so much experience on like drifting I have been doing mostly like sliding and stuff like that but not like going on a serious racetrack and actually trying to slide it no sorry drift it so I am really excited to try out some drifting with this car if I'm not able to do uh, third gear of course second gear is also an option but yeah I may be going to rent a track actually now in the near future just to see how the car feels and how it is and uh, how talented I am <laughs> on drifting because uh, I'm no world champion and we all got oh, everybody like I should know that I'm not a world champion I mean I've crashed my car uh, so of course I do know that it needs a lot of practice and experience to handle uh, a car in drift. I do know that because, yeah, I've been in a ditch. You can comment that if you want to. Hit on me. I know. I'm crushed. But I felt like I learned a lot. Maybe we can do a standstill uh, start and see how fast it accelerates. Yeah. Let's actually do that. Okay, let's do a standstill start right here. Just want to see how fast it goes. Okay, zero. <laughs> I had a little bit of problem with keeping the traction. Just wheel spin in first and second gear. I will change the exhaust on this car uh, later on. Uh, I do actually 
I am really like I do want that to happen fast, but uh, I don't know what I want yet. I don't know if I want like four exhaust tips out the back or just two or I don't know. But I want more sound. That's what I do. Actually, that's what I do know uh, that I want more sound because it's way too quiet now. Uh, like I put a GoPro back at exhaust now, and uh, so that makes it better. I hope you can hear uh, some exhaust sounds, but. It's not nearly enough. Like in here, I feel like I don't hear that much. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I missed the gear. <laughs> Why did I do that? I didn't even put it in third. That was a rookie mistake. <laughs> and the, it's not only that it grips so good in the corners, but like I feel I sit really tight in these M3 seats as well. The one downside with pulling out the park lights connector is that you get faulty codes here in the dashboard, and that's no good. The rear ones are the, my plate hold my plate lights but uh, the other ones are simply because I pulled the connector and that's it. Here we get some good turns. Oh, <laughs> oh it's such a good feeling. I can feel some G-forces just pushing me. I'm just amazed on this car, seriously. I keep forgetting that experience I'm having while driving. So often I just I just think about how the footage is going to be and like what I'm filming, but I'm forgetting that I am actually driving and enjoying this car as well because seriously, it's just, I don't have words. It's just the driving experience is so good. Now, I would never in my wildest imagination that think that I could not even drive but own like not just drive but own an E46 M3. I know it's not an original M3 but this is the only thing I can afford but I don't care about that. I get the M3 experience and yeah I'm just it's so amazing. Wow look how beautiful it is. Really pretty. Maybe actually I do have time for a little photo shoot with the car. I know a spot right here I can use. I did use that in another video with my E36 325 actually. I don't know if you've seen that video. The car also feels a lot stiffer after I lowered it and that also makes it drive very very good. Yeah, maybe I can take some photos. Right here. Okay, let's take some photos of it. Because, yeah, it looks, I assume it will look very good. Here you can see the US lights as well. And with this background, yeah, I need to get my camera out because I need to capture this. Maybe a new cover photo for my YouTube. Oh, it's so good. It's looking great. Hmm, no good. Look how beautiful this is, seriously. 
Oh my god, the car looks great! Yeah, I think I will end the episode here. I have taken some beautiful photos here of the car and I am loving this car more and more for every day that goes by, so yeah. I am in love with it, seriously. So I hope you are liking this car as well and uh, I will be making a lot of videos of this car in the future. So yeah, I'm really excited. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like. Maybe we can get a thousand likes for this video. That would be awesome. And uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram if you're not already doing that, at Father Films, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.